Honestly, I... I don't know. Of course, I want to stay here and continue my research. But at the same time, I accepted that job, and I've been taught to see things through. Taught by Mr. Kami Izumi himself, that is. He stressed the point many times in his book. Miss Idia, tell me, whatever should I do? Hmm. It's a tough call, all right. What to do, what to do? You should stay right here, Go. You have too much potential to be just another cog in that machine. Miss Idia! Are you sure about this, Idia? What about your master? To heck with him! Forcing yourself to slave away at a job you hate doesn't help anybody. I'll let your supervisor know. And master too. Do your darndest here from Ophelia and summon this Amaterasu. Got it? Huh? Idia, is something the matter? No, it's just... You... Ignorant fool! Ah! Master! I heard the exchange. Or enough of it, at least. Then you heard my reasoning. Surely you understand, Master? I am disappointed in you, Idia. Your advice is naive and shameful. Master? Being but a cog in a machine does not mean one's efforts are devoid of value. You counsel a guileless youth, still ignorant of the world, to throw up his hands at the first hint of hardship. Recklessly, you urge him to question his role, before he can learn for himself which role suits him best. What lesson have you taught the boy that will help him overcome the next challenge that he faces? Make no mistake. By encouraging him to give in to his weakness, you will bear the responsibility for making Go less of a man. As master to my pupils, I too bear responsibility. And I will not shirk my duty. If you persist in your shameful counsel, you leave me no choice but to draw my sword. It would seem you still have much to learn. The lesson begins, Idia. Draw your blade! I shall dispense with the formalities. Swordmaster Kami Izumi stands before you. Thank <laughs> you.